Hey there everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and this week's video is a little bit of a weekly routine type of video. It doesn't have everything that I do in a week but it's got the most typical things that I am able to get done uh, throughout the week each week at least once a week. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So this is a weekly routine video and since it is summertime and we've had quite a bit of rain and a whole lot of sunshine, we are definitely in need to do our weekly mow. So that is what I was able to get started on was mowing the outside of the house and um, Joe was in the backyard working on the pool and his dad was going around the yard as well uh, doing some weed eating. So I hopped up on the mower and I was able to get the whole yard mowed and it was in desperate need for it. The one side of the yard always gets so uh, overgrown and it really doesn't take that long to get there. Um, we're pretty sure that the side that gets the highest is connected to the drain field. So it is definitely a area that if we don't keep up on it, it can get a very, very, very high very quickly, especially with the rain and the sunshine here in Florida. And um, I'm going over that side multiple times. I like to try to go along the perimeter and the edge and everything and then I have to continuously go back around and each time that I go back around I'm lifting the deck of the mower up just a little bit so that I make sure not to scalp the um, yard and kind of make it cut unevenly. So I have to lift the uh, deck to get the tall grass down and then I will go back over it with the deck lowered so that it cuts the rest of it up. And then I have to go back over that a few times with the deck up a little bit just so that I can kind of mulch up that long grass and it just it doesn't just pile up. And then uh, we did eventually blow the uh, grass clippings into the driveway and swept them up and everything. But I wasn't able to film that because um, the guys had ended up taking care of that while I was mowing the backyard. So this was definitely something that we do once a week. And if we don't, it is just a nightmare to cut because it is so thick. So uh, definitely a once a week type of thing, at least during the summer. The summer is uh, weekly mowing at this house because <laughs> it can get seriously crazy. So we definitely have to try to keep up on it. It's electric when you kiss me, never felt this way before. Next, I am working in my bathroom. Now, as I said in the beginning, um, this video doesn't have every single thing that I do each week. It just has my main focuses for the week. Um, I will take care of the toilet multiple times during the week, 
but I don't give my bathroom a full cleaning except for maybe once a week. So I will always keep up on the toilet, but I don't normally keep up on the rest of it because there's so much going on in other parts of the house. So uh, once a week I will get into the bathroom and I will clean the whole thing, the shower, the bottom of the toilet, all of that. But uh, throughout the week, I will take care of just the toilet. So that part always stays clean and, you know, sanitary and all of that good stuff. But the rest of the bathroom is a once a week project. And I am kind of happy because I don't really have to do too much because everybody else in the house does kind of um, pick up some of the slack. So they may not sit there and do a full deep clean like I do with washing the shower and everything like that but they do help with uh, keeping up on the stuff on the floors and the toilet paper rolls and um, keeping the vanity a little bit um, uncluttered and stuff like that so I am the one that goes in and cleans clean cleans it once a week but luckily I have everybody else to help me out throughout the week to the living room um the one of the main things that I have to take care of uh, at least once a week is the laundry and it had gotten behind a little bit because of all of the projects that we had going on with Trustin's room and Cheyenne's room and also the last week of school everything has been just kind of hectic so the laundry kind of got a little built up so I spent the whole day before this and washed everything. I washed um, mine and Joe's clothes. I washed the kids' clothes. 
I got all of my um, towels and cleaning towels and stuff like that um, washed and dried. And I was also able to strip the furniture and get that stuff washed as well. So that once I was done with um, folding the laundry and everything and putting it away, I was going to uh, completely deconstruct the couch and get it uh, vacuumed and cleaned up. So I wanted to make sure that the um, sheets and the blankets and stuff like that that go back on the couch were also clean. So that was something that I needed to get done as well. So definitely once a week getting the laundry done is a main priority. It is a big thing in this house because it seems like laundry is never done. There is always laundry to do, whether it's towels, whether it's the kids' clothes, our clothes, um, any of the blankets or anything that are in, around the house on the furniture, stuff like that, because we do have animals. So it's always a never-ending battle when it comes to the laundry. <laughs>
Once I finished all of the laundry, I ended up uh, folding everything and giving the laundry to the kids and had them put them away. And I put away our clothes, so all of that was taken care of. And then once all of that was done, I was able to take all of the cushions and vacuum them and get them off the couch so that I can vacuum underneath where the cushions are and the chair as well. This is definitely another thing that has to be done at least once a week because of the animals. I do not restrict my animals from getting onto the furniture. So that just means that I have to keep up on it a little bit more. So once a week I will completely tear apart the couch and I will vacuum it and get all of the dog hair off. I'll wash all of the stuff and everything like that. So I um, do not stop my animals from getting on the couch and you'll see after I have the chair made up and everything like that the animals do get back up on the couch and the uh, chair as well but um that is just something that um we don't really mind I know some people have different opinion and that's fine but um we in our house we don't really care I know that it's more work to have to deal with cleaning more stuff but um, I don't know. I just I love being able to sit on the couch or on the furniture or something and have my dog lay next to me. So it is uh, definitely something that needs to be done weekly because of the fact that we don't um, restrict them at all. So taking care of the couch was the first priority when it comes to cleaning up this living room. And then the second priority is the floors. <laughs> Me. It's in my birthday yet, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All those second chances, they are nothing for us I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away so much time looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door Nothing for us I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the 
Another thing that I like to do at least once a week, I try to take care of it more often, but it's not always um, accomplished, is um, because of the fact that I was vacuuming the couch and a lot of vacuums will um, put off dust. Uh, they will move things around and put dust up in the air and I'm sure you see little things flying around the camera and stuff like that. So um, every time I get done with the couch, I will just go behind and wipe everything down. Last week's video, I had just cleaned the living room um, and it was pretty bad, but um, I had made sure to uh, completely take everything off of the shelves and totally wipe them down and stuff like that. But when it comes to the quick dusting throughout the week, I will just take a rag and I will just kind of wipe the surfaces. I don't always move everything. I'll move everything every couple of weeks and stuff like that. But weekly, on a weekly basis, when I'm in here trying to get things done as fast as possible, then I will just uh, give everything a good wipe down just so that it doesn't get built up too much. And then once I was done with uh, wiping everything down and cleaning the table, I moved on to um, cleaning the sliding glass door, which is full of little dog prints and uh, nose prints from the dogs. Um, the little dog likes to jump up on the window and do the cha-cha. So she has little paw prints all over the bottom half of the door as well as nose prints from the bigger dogs. Um, the black dog, Rocky, does know how to open the sliding glass door. So he tends to leave little nose smudges and stuff like that from when he opens the door. So it was one thing that definitely needed to be cleaned. It's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake, it's the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure the hallway and den area that I'm about to do is it's more of a habit when it comes to me cleaning the living room than it is of ne necessarily necessity um I don't always have a plan okay well the hallway needs to be clean so I'm just gonna clean the hallway 
it um, ends up just kind of being a habit that once I start cleaning the living room, the hallway, and the den just automatically go with it. So every time that I clean the living room, the hallway gets vacuumed and cleaned. And then obviously, because the den is attached to the living room, that will obviously get cleaned as well. But the hallway area is always just um, kind of a habit. I don't ever clean it separately from um, or like a separate day because it is just such a small little area that I will just take care of it as I'm going in between the living room and the den area. And um, I'll mop it first and then move into the den area before I vacuum and mop it just so that it's out of the way and it's done and I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, the hallway is normally just out of habit of cleaning everything else around it since it's such a small little space. I feel like it's just make it part of the living room so that it can all get done at once. So while this wasn't everything that I do in a week, because I don't know if I would have, uh, it would definitely not be a very short video if I filmed everything that I would do within a week. But um, I am thinking about doing that, um, a full weekly routine. I think that that would be fun. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Um, summer is going to be filled with lots of cleaning motivation inside and out, and we are hoping to do some fun things with the kids, so hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of that stuff as well, but yeah, so this is the beginning of the summer, summer cleaning and all of that, and it's just going to be so much fun, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, hit that like button. Drop me a comment and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching.